What's up everybody? So I thought now would be as good of time as any or even better time to uh, do a video about Gogeta in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, especially in light of the new news that has come out. Uh, the evidence has piled up over time of Gogeta being in the Dragon Ball Super movie. So we're going to talk about that, talk about his role in the movie, as well as any implications for his future use. And of course, you know, this movie is going to be a part of the main canon as it is set after the events of the Tournament of Power. So we're going to talk about Gogeta versus Broly, uh, the fusion, uh, the time limit of the fusion, uh, whether or not Gogeta will actually defeat Broly in this movie or what will happen therein. So without further ado, let's begin. So we have this news from uh, Therese27 on Twitter about Yoshihiko Umakoshi, uh, who is an animator who has in an interview stated that he is working on Dragon Ball and uh, practicing drawing Gogeta. Now, so far, I mean, the evidence has been stacking up for Gogeta's involvement in the series. So this, I think, is a, a huge piece of evidence showing that uh, Gogeta, I mean, if an animator is working on practicing Gogeta, like, what does that mean? That means that at some point, Gogeta is going to be a part of the series. And of course, what's next? The Dragon Ball Super Broly movie uh, is the next animated piece there. So, of course, before we've had the DLC packs for Xenoverse, um, we've had the uh, three movies coming out in three at three at theatrical <laughs> three theatrical movies uh coming out broly uh, bardock and the fusion reborn movie which of course uh gogeta is in the fusion reborn movie i mean that's already getting us hyped up to see gogeta again and you you, you see those three things so bardock is probably going to be in some way shape or form involved in the movie probably in a flashback broly obviously that is the main villain and now what does Fusion Reborn have in common with the movie? That's of course Gogeta. Now this is practically confirming that Gogeta is gonna be in the movie. Now he does say that he is working on Dragon Ball. I'm not sure if he's spe specifying Dragon Ball Super or specifying the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, but as of yet, it it's it pretty, I'd say 99.9% .9 uh, sure that uh, Go Gogeta is going to be in the movie. Now, what does it mean for Gogeta in the movie? That probably means that neither uh, Frieza, Vegeta, or Goku by themselves, uh, or even working as a team, are enough to take down Broly. Now, in the trailer, we see that Broly is attacking Vegeta first. So it, it implies that Vegeta is taking his normal role and being defeated uh, before Goku, you know, steps in and does a better job. You know, that typical dragon trope, typical Dragon Ball trope. So um, Gogeta being involved in this movie implies that Goku steps in and still isn't able to beat Broly because it seems that Broly is going to keep getting more and more powerful and to a point where these guys can't touch him and they're going to resort to fusion. Now, of course, with the Patara fusion, we've seen in Dragon Ball Super, they fused into Vegito and turned Super Saiyan Blue, which of course made it so that the fusion lasts hardly any time at all. And I mean, during the entire series, we've, sh we've seen that fusion might not be the best option for these guys you know uh, if gogeta is going to fight against broly i feel like it's going to be a major last resort and because what we've seen with vegeto he went vegeto blue fought against merge samasu and defused right at the last moments before he did the final blow and of course we, we got the fusion retcon with the patara fusion only lasting an hour and it even didn't didn't even last that long and you go back to Dragon Ball Z, it was even uh, rendered useless practically with uh, Gotenks and um, going Super Saiyan 3, making the fusion last an even shorter amount of time. So if the fusion in your base isn't like enough to fight against your opponent, then you have to bring in more levels of power, more Super Saiyan forms, and each level of the Super Saiyan form is going to drain the fusion time. So. Vegeta, uh, not Vegito, but Gogeta is going to have to really make this count. He's going to have to end it quickly 
which we saw in Fusion Reborn, he ended it very quickly against Janemba. Of course, that's you could say that's like movie timing or whatever, but I, I'm hoping that this Gogeta versus Broly is gonna be a good fight. I hope it's not gonna be a, a Gogeta versus Janemba again. I really want a, a good battle between a fused character and a bad guy, you know, because that would be freaking awesome to see instead of, oh, he defused at the last moment. Honestly, if that happens, that's gonna make me mad because you're gonna bring in this fusion only to defuse again. What's the point in bringing the fusion around in the first place? But going back to the drain on the time and the amount of power that you're using, we've seen, you know, Super Saiyan and two and three especially drain the fusion time and uh, blue with Vegito blue, uh, that definitely drained the fusion time a lot. So what uh, could they do to make the fusion last longer while still having the power up or the power advantage here? So what I'm kind of thinking is that, you know, we had the leaked image, I don't, or whatever. Uh, we've seen images of Vegeta as a uh, Super Saiyan God with the red hair, Super Saiyan Red, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. I think they're making a point to show that because uh, Gogeta being blue is gonna drain the time significantly, just like it did with Vegito. And I think that they're going to learn from that experience and say, you know what, blue is way too draining and I don't, I think we're gonna need a little bit more time to deal with this Broly guy, uh, at least until the end and if, we're confident that we are about to beat him, then we'll go blue uh, for that boost of power to do the final shot. So I think they're gonna need to strategize this, and I think that they're gonna need to rely on Gogeta Red. Um, and that's because they have shown in the past how much less draining Super Saiyan uh, God is than Super Saiyan Blue. Um, because in the anime, you've seen it uh, with Goku versus Dispo. Goku was using red and turning into blue for that power advantage when he went to attack. So, and if you wanna bring the manga into it, you can as well with uh, Goku going red against Hit in the Universe 6 tournament. So I'm really thinking that they're going to need to rely on the red form so, so that hopefully it'll make it so that the time limit of the fusion will last longer. Now, of course, uh, there's no guarantee that this is going to work against Broly or be enough power, because they seem to be implying that Broly's gonna just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger during these fights. Um, I'm thinking that he's gonna fight Frieza first and defeat Frieza, then head to Earth, and that's gonna be like Frieza's, but I'll, I'll do a whole video on Frieza that, I'm planning on a, a whole video on Frieza and his role in the movie. So stay tuned to that on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and follow my Twitter. Uh, I update my Twitter regularly. I have a lot of fun stuff on there. So uh, follow me on there. And I'll also retweet like uh, Dragon Ball news and whatnot. So if red isn't enough for to defeat Broly, then they're gonna have to go to blue. And of course, if blue isn't enough, and if it doesn't drain, if they're gonna have some weird explanation or non-explanation for why this, uh, the Metamoran fusion, because that's what the fusion is. You know, you got the Patara fusion with the earrings, you got the Metamoran fusion, which uh, Goku learned from the Metamorans um, for the fusion dance. Now this is what Gogeta is. So if, they're gonna have some weird thing to where, oh, Super Saiyan Blue doesn't drain the time limit like it did with Vegito Blue. Uh, that's gonna be kind of weird. Uh, what do you think is gonna happen with that? Do you think that the time limit's gonna drain with his power? Or do you think they're gonna have some weird explanation to where Blue is not as draining on this fusion than it was on the Vegito fusion? So moving on, we have the Super Saiyan Blue. So if that's not gonna be enough, and if it doesn't drain the time limit, and if they don't defuse like they always do, then what about Ultra Instinct? You know, Goku has had the, the ability to do Ultra Instinct if he is pushed far enough. Now in the Tournament of Power, each time he went into Ultra Instinct Omen, he had to be pushed farther and farther past his limits. And as he said in the last episode of Dragon Ball Super, he wasn't able to do it at will. So, Broly seems like a prime candidate to push 
him to do Ultra Instinct again. Now, whether or not we're gonna, gonna actually see Goku do Ultra Instinct, I think it is plausible to have Ultra Instinct Gogeta fight against Broly. Now, we don't know what Broly's limits are gonna be or if he's even gonna have limits because it seems like he's just gonna keep going more and more stronger. <laughs> But uh, who, who knows, maybe he'll get too powerful and his own power will destroy him, kind of thing. So how do you think Gogeta is going to be portrayed in this? And how do you think they're gonna actually fuse? Like, are they gonna get into a, uh, an initial fight with Broly? He's gonna beat them and like leave them, they're gonna survive the battle. Uh, and then Goku teaches Vegeta. Do you think Vegeta already knows the fusion dance uh, just from seeing Goten and Trunks do it? at some point or you know there's no re it's it's easy just to say okay vegeta knows it or he can get taught real quick um and if they do that like they did in the fusion reborn movie do you think we're gonna see fat gogeta uh, or skinny gogeta or something like that um until they get it right anyway what do you guys think what do you what do you guys think about gogeta being in the dragon ball super broly movie do you think that since it's n you know, since there's, do you think there's there's not enough evidence yet? Or do you think that this animator is pretty much definitive proof? I swear if we get a, an actual screenshot of Gogeta in the movie, I'm gonna replace this thumbnail and just pretty much take the question mark out of that confirmed thing. So uh, obviously whatever you guys think, put it down in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy.